What is going on YouTube? Lamont at large. Today we are at the Rahway Cemetery here in Rahway, New Jersey, probably about 20 minutes away from Manhattan, New York. I was across the street looking on my phone online for story ideas for future videos and doing a little bit of research. And I got some breaking news on my phone and that is that the Nevada County Sheriff's Office has released the autopsy report for 16 year old Kylie Rodney. And in the report, the coroner's office determined that her death was an accident by drowning. Again, I'm going to repeat, her death was an accident by drowning. So for almost two months now, you have certain true crime YouTubers and non-true crime YouTubers dragging this girl's name through the mud, dragging her on again, off again, boyfriend's name through the mud, dragging all of her friends that attended the party with her, their names, through the mud. You have labeled and thrown innuendos and accusations against her, her family, and her friends. You have said that this wasn't an accident, that dare I say this was nothing more than an outright murder. All of you true crime YouTubers with your outlandish accusations and all of you with your spirit boxes and your dousing rods or whatever hocus pocus you used to pretend to contact the dead. I'm talking to you too. You have drug the Rodney family name through the mud Lord knows what you guys have done behind the scenes to that family and their name with absolutely no evidence to the fact of any kind of wrongdoing done by anybody that resulted in her death You got certain true crime YouTubers, and I'm not going to mention any names, but we're going to put our thinking caps on, right? We're going to put our thinking caps on right now, and we're going to guess who those people are. I'm not going to say their names, but you can go ahead and guess who I'm speaking of. If you guys follow my channel, practically all of my videos are always at the scene of the crime. However, this time it's not because I'm not gonna wait till next year for me to get to Northern Nevada to speak about this. From day one, it appeared to me that this was nothing more than a tragic accident, a mistake made by a young person to drive inebriated. Kylie was seen at the party drinking and smoking weed. A lot of teenagers do that nowadays. And you have these true crime YouTubers. And let me tell you, nothing sells faster and hotter with a white light heat on YouTube more than drama. And let me tell you, some of you YouTubers, and I'm talking directly to you, have made a lot of money slandering this girl's friends accusing them of being complicit in a make-believe murder. You gotta ask yourself, if you made a video about this girl and her death, and you were stating that her death looked quote-unquote suspicious, you gotta ask yourself, was it worth the views? Was it worth the money? Was it worth the fake drama? Does it make you look good? Or does it make you look bad? 
Does it make you look idiotic? I think the latter. I absolutely do. I'm going to say some things that some of you guys ain't going to like. And that's fine. We could agree to disagree. You don't always got to agree with me. I say things online all the time that upset people. And that's okay. If you don't like it, don't watch. The only guilty person in this tragic story, and my heart goes out to her family, is that Kylie made some bad choices that night. And trust me, I've made way worse decisions that she did to just drive home inebriated at night on roads with the lighting was probably nil. And you have other certain YouTubers with millions of subscribers who go on national TV and say, oh, gee, this looks suspicious. But then you backtrack slightly your statement saying that, well, if it is an accident, it could be, but it looks suspicious. You got to understand when you have three million subscribers and you say such insolent nonsense such as that, you're going to have a lot of subscribers who are going to follow your lead. They're going to follow that cab. And then you have smaller YouTubers who are going to run with that nonsense. They're going to run with that nonsense narrative. I could not believe all of these YouTubers saying that this girl's death was a murder. And I've been biting my tongue slightly because I like to sit back and wait for the proof. I like to sit back and wait for the autopsy results. And the autopsy toxicology report says that she had ethanol in her system, alcohol, and THC, marijuana. That's it. It was a tragic accident. But oh no, no. Some of you guys, you need drama on your channel. You need drama to drum up views. And let me tell you, part of me doesn't blame you. I'm a capitalist at heart. I say follow the money. But you also have to understand the other side of those things. And it's that when you create a fervor of idiocy and buffoonery without even knowing what you're talking about at all, just to make money, just to make money, you only did it just to make money. All of that attention, all of the attention that this case has received for almost two months now could have been spent on someone else, somewhere else. A missing person's case, perhaps. There's a lot of unsolved murders and a lot of disappearances all across this nation. Most of these people you've never heard of. Most of these people, you wouldn't know their name if someone came and smacked you upside the head with a book with their name written on it. Where's these people's limelight? Where's these people's attention? They don't have any. Maybe there's not enough drama. Maybe there's not enough drama. Again, I want to say I am very saddened to hear this girl's story of just nothing but a tragic accident and mistake. And unfortunately, Kylie paid for that mistake with her life. But for you clowns, yes, I called you clowns. 
And if you guys don't like what I have to say, you can stop the video right now. And I highly doubt many of you have stopped the video right now. Oh, you'll let me know in the comments. I'm sure you'll let me know. I'm sure you will. But you guys were so thirsty for a story with fake drama, fake accusations, and lies that you couldn't just smash on the brakes and say, you know what, this is a little bit irresponsible. And trust me, I've done some irresponsible things. I've uploaded videos that I've pulled down because they didn't feel good to me. And yeah, sure, they would have gotten a lot of views, but hey, listen, I'm a YouTuber. Some of you watching are YouTubers. Some of you are not YouTubers. But I know that sometimes it was best just to pull the video down, and I've done it probably a dozen times. Now, I have a question for any YouTuber out there. I'm talking to you right now. Any YouTuber out there right now. Are you going to take your videos that you've done on this girl's name lying with your fake drama, with your fake nonsense? Are you going to put it on private? Notice how I said, I'm not asking you to take it down. I'm not even asking you to put it on private. Because I know if you take it down, you'll lose the ad revenue. And we all know we need that ad revenue, right? Because it's the it'll be the end of the world if we pull down a video and we didn't get that $500, that $200 that the video made. But is there any YouTubers out there that made your hocus pocus videos with your dumb transistor radios, with your dumb red flag videos, insinuating that her boyfriend was responsible for her murder, air quotes, murder. You gonna put your videos in private? Are you gonna make a retraction? Are you gonna apologize to your subscribers for lying to them? You had absolutely no proof. There was none. No proof at all. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear nothing. You had absolutely no facts about anything. All you guys did was make stuff up. You had one YouTuber with a lot of subscribers and everybody just followed these YouTubers and then just it just snowballed into this ridiculous trumped up story of just nothing but lies mixed with conspiracies, mixed with drama, mixed with figure pointing. And can you imagine those kids that were at the party and then these YouTubers like, oh yeah, I, there's something weird going on here. There's something weird going on over here. And then they go to school and then people are snickering at them. You ruin people's lives momentarily when you ruin their reputation and some of you watching right now you're not a teenager you don't know what it's like to be a teenager when i was a teenager we barely had social media if any at all our social media was american online or aol or whatever can you imagine then these kids this kid's name this the jagger kid his name's all over google now forever Oh, and then some of you, I know some of you are even going to still keep running with this false narrative. You're going to still run with it. Dragging this kid's name through the mud. And then when this kid goes to college, the colleges are going to know this. His friends are going to know this. Future employers are going to know this. You don't care. You're not him. You're not her mom. You're not Kylie's mom. She has to live with the fact that her daughter made a mistake. I don't know what her household was like. You know, They had an end of school year party celebrating just completing another grade. Kylie went to that party to have a good time. And the only guilty people, in my personal opinion, the only guilty people are the ones that let her drive home when they shouldn't have. Because there was kids that were in their 20s that was 
that was at this party supposedly from teens to early 20s there was a quite a few number of people i don't know the exact number but it was a lot this was a very big party and a lot of people seen that kylie was intoxicated inebriated whatever words you want to use and they seen her get in her car and they didn't stop her and i'm sure they feel bad for that i'm sure they do it only took one person to grab her arm get those keys out of her hand and say girl go to sleep go to sleep i love you more than to watch you go into the darkness knowing that you shouldn't be behind the wheel and i'm not slamming this girl at all i'm stating the facts unlike a lot of you guys out there because that's what i'm about i'm all about facts and let me tell you sometimes i get it wrong I, and i try me and scarlet we try to do our best and sometimes we make mistakes and i always try to correct my mistakes yeah somebody at the party one person out of a couple hundred they could have stopped her they didn't and she tragically, again, like I said previously in this video, she paid for this small indiscretion with her life. Nobody else paid except her. But then her family has to live with that for the rest of their lives. They have to bury their daughter. They have to have millions of people talking about this case that was absolutely trumped up by conspiracy theorists out there that knew better. You have a large following, sir. You have a large following, ma'am. You know better. Were you raised by wolves? You know better than to go on a platform where you have a million subscribers, where you have three million subscribers, five million subscribers, these several hundred thousand subscribers, and say such balderdash. You knew better than that. But what was more important for you was to make money off of this girl's name with your fake drama video than to just make a regular video talking about the case, asking open-ended questions, not having to throw the murder word in it. Shame on any and all of you out there. And listen, I make mistakes. Hell, maybe this, this video might be a mistake. I could have got something wrong during this, but I'm just going off my feelings. And my feelings right now is that my heart hurts for this young lady and her family and her friends that have to go through this. And my feelings are that a lot of you on YouTube were absolutely wrong. And I knew it. I just sat back and waited while you guys ran your mouths. Yak, 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 yak. And you know what? This video ain't nothing but a rant. It's a rant. Even though she made a mistake, Kylie's memory deserves better than for people to slander it. Her memory deserves better than for you guys to label fake accusations against their friends. All right, guys, I've ranted enough. It's starting to come down on me. Actually, it's been raining since I've been walking here. I don't have a studio with lights where I could have been in the comfort of my own home. I live in my van. Rest in peace to Kylie Rodney. My condolences to her family. And for any of you guys out there, still got your videos up about this. About your lies maybe you want to put your videos on private and make a contraction make an apology maybe you should hey sorry sorry the drama was worth more to me at the time i have a mortgage to pay i got kids to put through college i just ran with it i don't think for myself others think for me and to those that i offended well if I've never offended anybody online ever, I'd be lying to you.
All right, guys, I'm signing out. God bless. Have a wonderful rest of your evenings, your mornings, your afternoons, wherever you are listening to this video. We're at a part of the crazy spinning globe that we are on called Planet Earth. And rest in peace to all these souls at this cemetery. Part of my channel, telling stories one at a time, five at a time. All these people, they were alive just like you and me. And one day, unfortunately, we will all come back to the earth. But why we are here on the earth, we all have to ask ourselves this one question. What is our worth to the earth? What is our worth to the earth? I will catch up with you on the next video. I hope to see you guys there. Have a good one.